Since February 4th, which is a six game span for him, Denny Avdia has the NBA's third best field goal percentage among players with at least 75 shot attempts in this span. His is 60.2%. Only Giannis Antetokounmpo and Domantas Sabonis have higher marks. In his most recent game before the All-Star break, which was against the New Orleans Pelicans, the fourth year forward erupted for a career high 43 points to go along with grabbing 15 rebounds. He made 13 of his 24 floor shots, six of his 10 three-pointers, and took 13 free throws, making 11 of them. Now it is important to mention that the Wizards lost each of those six games despite Avdia's breakout performances, but there's no doubt that he has turned a corner and we have to start asking ourselves whether he's more than just an ancillary role player on a rebuilding team. The biggest thing that he's doing more of and better at is attacking the basket on drives. The thing about Avdia is that he's super strong and does a great job of shielding off defenders with his body to finish despite a heavy dose of obstruction. Before February 4th, he was averaging just 5.3 driving layup attempts per 100 possessions. In these last six games, that's up to just under 8 driving layup attempts per 100 possessions. He's getting closer to the basket on these drives with an average shot distance of 3.9 feet since February 4th, and 63% of his driving shots have been taken from the restricted area. Prior to February 4th, it was 4.3 feet and 51%. He's taken the ninth most driving layup since February 4th, shooting 71.4% on these attempts. I recently did a video on the Orlando Magic's Franz Wagner, and I always felt like Avdia is a less polished, less crafty, and less elusive version of him. Avdia is a little bit more straight line-ish, while Wagner makes a lot of sharp turns, abrupt stop and starts, and alters angles constantly. The biggest thing we see Avdia do well is go right into defenders, bounce off them, and remain balanced to finish on those drives. He's definitely more right side dominant. He's also gotten very good at turning drives into post ups and using his size to muscle his way to the basket. To accentuate his strength and aggressiveness, he has 31 N1s, which is already 10 more than he had all of last season. He's gotten a lot of them in transition, where he excels. Nearly 21% of his transition shot attempts end in a shooting foul, and 5.4% of them end in an N1. As far as his shooting, there are not many players, if any, who have improved their outside touch more than him. He's currently shooting 40.5% from three-point range, a nearly 12% jump from last season. Where he's been hot this season is from the corners. In fact, among the 140 players who have taken at least 40 corner three-pointers, Avdia has the 17th best percentage at 47.9%. Now the Wizards as a team are very poor defensively. They have the fourth worst defensive rating to be precise. But between Avdia and Bilal Koulibaly, they have a pair of wings that can use their size to make it tough on opponents. Interestingly enough, Avdia has been the closest defender to the 10th most shots this season and the most among non-centers. Opponents are shooting 49.3% on those attempts, which isn't a great mark by any stretch, but he has been responsible for having to guard many of the game's top scorers. Just some general stats on Avdia. Through 54 games, he's averaging 13.8 points, 6.6 rebounds, and 3.8 assists, shooting 52.1% from the field and 40.5% from beyond the arc. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.